Hi everyone, my name is Johan and I'm a senior cloud developer advocate working at Microsoft. In this video, we'll see how to install and use packages in a JavaScript application. To be able to use packages in my application, I will have to create this file named package.json. To do that, I can use the npm CLI by typing npm init. And because I'm lazy, I don't want to answer a few prompts, so I will use this dash y option. It will create for me this package.json file. As you can see, there's a few informations in there, like name and version of my application. But you don't see a dependencies section. That's because we didn't have, at this point, install any package. So let's just do that. I will install a package I only need for development, so I will use the dash dash save dev option. I will install prettier, which is a code formatter. Okay, now you can see that there's this new dev dependencies section with the package I just installed in there. To make use of that package, I can add a script. I will name this script format. And I will make use of this prettier package to make it reformat all my JavaScript code. Now that I created this format script, I can run it using npm run format and that will just run the command I just written in there. To see it in action, let's just see this badly formatted code I've just written. So I run this command, you can see that now I have a pretty clean code. As you can see here, I'm trying to use the express package, but I don't have it yet in my application, so let's install it. To do that, I type npm install express. Now I have this dependency section with express in there. Express is a package that allows me to create web server and web APIs. The code I've written here is a simple web server that will listen up for 3000 and will answer a hello world to a request. To run it, I can use node index.js. And you'll see that my server is running. To make it more convenient, I can also add a new script named start here. And I can type just the same command as used in the terminal. Now, instead of typing node index.js, I can just type npm start. Start is a special script, that's why I don't have to use the full command name npm run start. I can use this shortcut one just called npm start. Also, maybe you have already noticed it, but in VS Code, I have this npm script section in there. You can use this section to do exactly the same thing I just did in the terminal and execute my script. Now let's add a new package to my application called .env. I will do that by typing the npm install .env command. And now you can see it in my dependencies here. .env is a package that allows you to manage your application configuration, including the secrets. For example, if I open my source code here, you can see that the port of my server is 3000, but it's hard-coded in my code, meaning if I want to change it in production, I can't. And it also means that it's hard coded and everyone can see it if I push my code to a repository. This is something that may be fine for configuration setting like here, the, the application port. But if you have secrets, like for example, the credential to access your database, you really don't want that to appear in your code. To avoid that, you can replace these hard coded values in your code by using environment variables. To do that, I can replace this hard-coded value here with process.env.port. Port will be the name of my environment variable. But how to set this value here? Because just like that, it doesn't have any value. That's where the .env package becomes useful. 
to make this magic work, at, just at the beginning, I will call it. So let's require dot of and call the config method. This will do all the magic. Adding this line here will allow me to create a new file name dot of, hence the package name. In this file, I can just put all my configuration for my application. For example, I can set the port to be this time the value 5000. What the package will do is at runtime read this file and just map all the settings in there to environment variables. If I try to run my application again, you will see now that my server is listening on port 5000. But wait, what I just did is put all my configuration in a different file. But if I just keep it like this, it might still end up in your repository. What you need to do now is make sure that this .on file will never be committed into your Git repository. To do that, I will create a new gitignore file. And I will put in there the .on file, but also this folder that you can just see here, the node modules folder. This node modules folder here is where all the dependencies that you added to your project will be downloaded. So that's not something you want to commit to your Git repository. That's it. Now we can be sure that your secrets are safe and that you can use different settings for your application configuration in production.